Hi, welcome to my paint cave. Today I'm going to talk about how I was able to connect to Swift without spending an arm and a leg. What does that mean? Well, it means that I am not buying a smart trainer just yet and I don't have a power meter. So I had to figure out how I could connect with a speed sensor and a cadence sensor. My old ones, like a 10 year old speed and cadence sensor, was not working, it was already obsolete. So I had to go out and get a new one. I actually bought the Garmin uh, Speed Sensor 2. I like the brand and uh, what I like the most is that it connects very easily to my multi-sport watch. So I don't have to struggle with all the technology. It connects fast. I replaced also the Cadence Sensor. The Cadence and the Speed Sensor cost me around uh, $90. I thought it was a pretty good uh, investment since I was not spending 400 and upwards in a uh, smart trainer. So I was uh, ready to take on the challenge and see uh, how to connect this. I'm going to take this step by step so that if you want to try this at home, you can follow the steps and uh, connect as well. Let me show you. So the first thing that you have to do is sign up for a Swift account. That is super easy. Uh, they actually give you a seven day trial right now that uh, you can test and see if that's something that you would like to do um, and invest on. And I did, and I loved it. <laughs> so that's when I decided that it was time to upgrade my sensors so that I can get a little bit more data because I was really just uh, logging time at that point. So let me show you how I did it. Let's go down the bike. <laughs> so now we're going to install the speed sensor. If you had an old one, you might remember that it used to be uh, attached right about here. And uh, it used uh, zip ties. This new sensor has its own rubber attached to it, which helps when you're putting it in and it's very easy, has the curve of the hub, so you just place it in there and pull the rubber into the little tap and you are done. The next thing you do, you go to your multi-sport watch and test it. It says right now 4.4, 3.8, so it's working. So that means that we are connected here and we can move to the next step. Easy, right? Next, we're going to move on to adding the cadence sensor. Let's go. So this is where my old uh, cadence sensor is, and now we're going to cut it off, hopefully without moving an arm or fingers. There we go. So we're going to put the new Garmin cadence sensor. We're going to put it right here facing inward. And so we're going to hook the straps to the teeth. A little bit of stretching up and down and we are connected. Next thing. So now that it's in place, we do the same. We go to the multi-sport watch. We make sure that the cadence sensor is connected and paired, and we test it. We can just do this, make sure that it's reading, and we're all set. So we have both sensors connected. Next, we move to the Swift app and see how we pair them both. Let's go. So now we're ready to connect the sensors to the Swift app. There's a couple of ways to do that. You can uh, um, set up your account on your cell phone or on your tablet or like I'm doing here on my laptop. I wanted to have the whole full experience of connecting my laptop to my TV through a HDMI cable. <laughs> so like you can see in the screen, uh, I have first to decide if I'm using power or speed sensors and this is the one that I'm going to choose because I don't have a power source. So what I found out 
to trial and error is that in order for Swift to read my speed and cadence sensor, I needed to get a USB cable, a long one, so that I can connect it to the computer here. And on the other end, we're going to connect the AMP Plus receiver. This one, we're going to have to put close underneath the pedals. That way, it can read the sensors properly. So right about here. So now we have the N Plus receiver connected to the laptop. And the laptop will be sending information to my TV. So now we're ready to say, let's search sensors. The next step I'm going to have to get on the bike. Gonna tie the back wheel. So now we're going to pedal, start pedaling so that we can start uh, connecting, pairing the devices. Let's see, did we see anything? Right now it's saying that it's searching and hopefully in no time we will be connected. So now we're fully connected, the sensors are reading, and I got my check marks on the speed and the cadence sensor. Awesome! All we have to do is take a ride and have fun. I hope you like this video. I know that uh, for me it took a couple of days to figure this all out. It was very frustrating at times, but uh, I hope uh, this video will make your life easier. Now all we have to do is have some fun and let's swift. <laughs> Bye. Have a great one. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so that you don't miss a bit. Until next time.